Hi everyone, this is Max Gullickson coming to you from Stoppers Community Television right here in our studio in 41 Elm Street in the month of September and I'm here today with two more representatives of Gateway Players Theater Group. I have Kathy Grenier. Hi Kathy. How are you Max? Good, thanks. And I have Suzanne Adams. Hi Suzanne. Hi. Now Suzanne, you are the director and Kathy, you are the producer of the upcoming play Tuesdays with Maury. We're hot on the heels of The Trial of the Wicked Witch, a musical. Did I say that right, Kathy? You did. And now we're moving on to Tuesdays with Maury. Now, you're the producer and you're the director. Um, can you, Kathy, tell me a little bit about this play, Tuesdays with Maury? Tuesdays with Maury is a two-man show, actually. Um, it is a book, originally, about a professor who um, forms a relationship with a, stu a former student or a student while he's in college and then later in life. Um, but Maury develops ALS. Mm -hmm. And it's the story of, it's a friendship, but it's also a story about Mitch Album, mm -hmm. who has to deal with a man that he held in high esteem and the fact that you know, he's not going to be living mm -hmm. a whole lot longer. No, he's going up. Suzanne, Mitch Album is, uh, and I know this, I'm a sports fan. Yes. He's a famous writer for the Detroit Free Press. Yes, he is. Uh, so other than being um, the devoted student to this, uh, Maury Schwartz's professor, who's sick, he had that career as well. Mm -hmm. It just seems like a departure for him. Now, this you say it's a two-man show. Yes. And it's Maury Schwartz, the professor, and, and it's Mitch Album, the character of the friend that visited him. Mm -hmm. How long had they, I mean, in real life, this is based on a real life story. It is. It How is. long were they separated before Mitch found him uh, to uh, reacquaint their friendship? About 16 years. He, 16 years. He actually saw him one night on Nightline with Ted Koppel. He was, Mitch was scanning through the stations, and all yeah. of a sudden, there Maury is um, being interviewed by Ted Koppel. No, sir. Yeah. And then Mitch Album, who was his student... Uh, you know, after there. all these years, yeah, you know, gave him a call. Reacquainted. Yep. And how long did they, how long, Kathy, how long did they talk? How long did this, the second stage of the relationship, how long did that last for? To the end. Yeah, about, long, a yeah. yeah. about a year. It's about a year. It's about a year. Until the passing of Maury Schwartz. Yes. Wow, right. it sounds kind of sad if I could. Is it straight sad? I mean, is there any funny to it at all? There is. There it is. I mean, in as much as there are, there are some parts that just have you chuckling, um, and the lines more than anything. Yeah. Um, but it is. It's a tragic disease. Yeah, yeah. sure. It's a very tragic sure. disease. The best-selling book, though. It is. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. And they somebody adapted it into a play. Mm -hmm. So, Suzanne, I understand that um, you have a very personal and real uh, connection to amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Andrew Garrick's disease. Yes. Um, and what is that? Uh, my dad passed away mm -hmm. in November of 2010 mm -hmm. after being sick for quite a few years. Yeah. And um, he was home till the end. Yeah. So and now you're directing a, a play that has a, one, of the, one of the characters has the same affliction. Yes. I did read this book quite a few years ago, uh -huh. you know, when my father was diagnosed. And yeah. it, it's actually... While it's sad, it's an inspiration also because Maury had a great attitude. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't going to let this disease get him down, and it kind of reminded me a little bit of my dad. You know, oh. just you just yeah take the good with the bad. Yeah. So um, now we all know Kathy that uh, Gateway has been uh, uh, looking for a new home ever since the barn. Uh, and for a long, long time, mm -hmm. the barn was a great home. It was. Um, it had some kind of theater character to it. I don't years, know what it now. was. The ghost of all those plays, maybe. Yeah. But now it's done, and you're looking for... And there's always fundraisers that you're doing, and you have um, some interesting ideas with Tuesdays with Maury. Uh, can you elaborate on that, please? Well, what we've been doing since we lost our home is um, we have a committee that puts together um, raffles, so at each show, we've had, well, 
six, seven, eight raffles mm -hmm. um, that we ask people, you know, they buy them at intermission, buy them at the beginning of the show. And all of that money goes to the Gateway to the Future Fund. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the money that we're putting aside to find a new home. Mm -hmm. However, when Tuesdays with Maury came up, Sue and I had talked about it. And she had said, you know, I'd really like to do, you know, put out or ask for donations. I don't want to beg for money, but, you know, give money to ALS. And I went, mm -hmm. well, you know, we're going to go one better than that. Mm -hmm. So discussing it with the board, we decided to, um, we're going to have our own little bucket challenge, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And that is a bucket. Instead of having a raffle, we're going to be asking people to make donations to ALS. And this money will be donated to ALS mm -hmm. in Sue's mother, uh, dad's name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that's a wonderful and, tribute. You know, we will be whatever we make on house, as you know, is what our refreshments are. Mm -hmm. um, we'll we will donate donate that for this show to the Gateway to the Future Fund. So mm -hmm. we're still going to be you know raising money for that, right. but just felt that. But there's an ancillary this is something benefit more and a step a step a little yeah. bit further. Sure. Um, because I remember a that's few years ago about. the the bucket the water bucket that they was still the do it. same it's, thing. It's five right? years ago. Yeah. Um, wow, and has it been five years? It has been. Wow. Pete Frades is wow. who started that, and I will tell you one real quick um, sure. fun fact, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, in all the years ALS has been around, there has been only one gene associated with the disease. Since the ice bucket challenge came about and all the money it has raised, they have discovered in the last five years five more genes associated mm -hmm. with ALS mm -hmm. because of the money that the ice bucket challenge brought in. Oh, I'm glad to hear real hope being established. There, there is. There is yeah. hope. And hope is the word that got us through. Sure. You know, there's always hope. All right. So for Gateway players, it's Tuesday with Maury mm -hmm. and it's coming up we'll have five shows like we normally do usually a Friday Saturday and then the following week and a correct. Friday with a Saturday matinee and a matinee on Sunday, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. correct what when do when do we open September 13th Friday yeah. night uh -huh. and, and a couple weeks it's coming yeah and then the 14th <laughs> will be the day after correct and then, and then the then following week is the 20th 21st yes. and the 22nd, 22nd is our matinee yes. where do you get tickets you can call the, our gateway number is still the same. Yeah. Um, you can call and leave a message. Mm -hmm. There is brown paper tickets. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, of course, they'll be at the door. Yeah. Tickets will be sold at the door. Okay. And we do also take credit cards. Oh, you do? We do. Mm -hmm. Okay, terrific. So yeah. if folks are looking to get their culture on, you can go out and see Tuesdays with Maury with the wonderful gateway players here in Southbridge. And where are we going to be at? I know it's not at the barn anymore. Where are you? Uh, where's the show? Elm Street Congregational A Church. lot of them there this year. They're, They've been very generous. They're all them. there, actually, this yeah, year. Yeah, okay. It seemed like it. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. Well, last year we had um, uh, Rocky Horror over at We did Crane. that over there yeah. as well. Right. But, no, this year they're all there except for our traveling yeah. show. All right. Terrific. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank uh, you. We look for, oh, no problem. And we'll be uh, back again here in a few weeks. We have another play after this, which is mm -hmm. not the last play of the season. It's no, just no, the, it's not. the next one. Correct. Thanks for coming on. Folks, Thank you. thanks a lot for watching Southbridge Community Television and learning about the Gateway Players. Uh, and if you're uh, of a mind and you're looking for something to do on the 13th, 14th, 20th, 21st, or the matinee uh, Sunday, the 22nd of September, right over at the Elm Street Congregational church do treat yourself and get on over there and catch a show right here in Southbridge and thank you for watching Southbridge Community Television. I have a typo.